Hello, YouTube. We are back for the attack in relation to Flash Comics number 78, Halloween edition. Now, last upload, as you saw, entitled No Peace Left Behind. And that was with Sergeant Slaughter in the thumbnail. So if you haven't checked that out, please go check it out. And what did we do last upload? I focused on this strip right here. As you can see, I was successful in being able to remove all of the medical tape. It did come at a cost though. The piece in question now is in several pieces, which for me, it's fine. I guess that's why they had tape on it. So we were successful to remove this, and I am very happy that I was able to remove it because it's a big chunk of the cover. We have a chunk down here, we have a chunk up here, and my goal is to obvious, obviously keep all of these chunks, to put them back into place. I was unable to save a few little pieces here and there, but that's the nature of the game. You're better off having an old comic book from the 40s, in my opinion, free of tape, because as we all know, at least from watching my channel at a minimum, tape is evil and tape destroys paper. Over time, the paper that the tape is on has a good chance of not being there for future generations. So, what are we gonna do now? What we're gonna do now is, here is the back cover. And the back cover still has medical tape on it right here and has residue right here. How are we gonna move, remove that tape? Well, the first thing that we're going to do is let's get rid of the cover for now. This is gonna be a different upload once we remove this tape. I wanna show you how I'm gonna remove it because I really didn't concentrate a lot on how I removed the tape from the front cover, but let's show you how, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it on the back cover. We're not gonna use Bestine. What we're gonna use is Xylene. Now this is thins epoxies and enamels. It also thins adhesive on tapes and it works very well. It actually works very well on golden age books. You have to be careful when using this on silver age books and newer books because this stuff can wipe away the graphics. I was lucky enough to have a quick conversation about solvents with Kenny Sanderson, one of the best, in my opinion, conservationists out there. Check him out on Instagram. And we had a conversation about what to do and what not to do, and he's really a great guy. So this is what we're gonna use. Stay tuned. Let me get it all set up. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back for the attack. Now, as you can see, I have the back cover here. And I have my wife's roasting pan. She doesn't use this anymore. So we're not going to have a prime rib put in here for the holidays because this is mine now. I like to use metal when I use solvents because these solvents, when you use them, you have to understand they react differently to plastics. And even as you'll see, when I use the bristles of a brush, these chemicals will dissolve the, brish the bristles of the brush. So what I wanna do is I wanna place the actual back cover in the roasting pan. I wanna go upstairs, I wanna get some onions. I want to get some potatoes so we can make a nice roast of back cover of Flash Comics. Only kidding. Let me set the camera up so I can focus in on the back 
when I edit, I want to say sorry for the first or second upload in relation to this book because I did use some editing techniques and it doubled a segment of the upload. We're all not perfect. We can't be perfect. Mistakes will always be made. So what do we got here? We have adhesive here and we have a piece of tape here. I'm gonna open up the chemical again, xylene. This stuff is a little nasty. All the times that people say you should wear masks, ventilators, maybe with this you should. It should be done in a well-ventilated area. But what I do is after I put the chemical on, I have an outside entrance in my basement. I'll take the pan and I'll put it outside and I'll let it soak outside and then I'll bring it back in when I'm ready to do the work and that prevents some of the fumes. So here we go. What I'll do is I'll just take my eyedropper and we'll put some of the solution or the chemical right into the pan. In fact, I wanna bring it down a little bit because I wanna get the actual cover into the groove of the pan. And right here, I should have actually put it in place before I wet it, but we're civilized people. We can take care of this. We'll lift it up like gentlemen. I'll put that down because I wanna put the chemical in this groove here because I'll tilt the pan like that. So let's continue putting the solvent. Don't worry about any type of staining of this cover or anything of that nature, because believe me, we are going to wash this cover in various chemicals and we'll be able to get out any tide lines as a result of the chemical very easily. So right here, I put some of the solution down some of the chemical will let that penetrate a little bit, but I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I will try to focus on it during my editing. Hopefully I will not do duplicative uploads in the same or segments in the same, in the same upload. And I just wanna show you right now, and hopefully the camera's picking it up the adhesive on the bottom section of the back cover is already dissolving and it's dissolving very nicely. So that's why I like a pan like this because I have the solution that I could just take my brush and slowly rub the adhesive off. And it will come off, believe me. We let this soak and right here, it's actually penetrating into the cover. And I bet you if I turn this around, I would be able to lift the tape off. But we're going to let it soak a little bit more. And also what I want to do, I want to put a little bit more of the chemical down or the solvent. And I'm going to bring this stuff outside because I'm feeling a little high from the actual vapors. And I'm only kidding with that as well, but I do feel the vapors. And I do have to construct a vapor cabinet if I'm gonna be doing this often. But a lot of times if I do do this, I'll do it outside, which is probably the best place to do it. But since I am filming for YouTube and for your enjoyment, hopefully, I have to suffer the smell of the chemical, which again, it's not that bad. I breathed a lot more worse things in my life of almost 50 plus years. So let's give it another rubbing, this adhesive right here. We'll do the same here. And you see this white stuff in the chemical? That is the actual adhesive breaking off. So what I want to do, maybe let's go a little, let's be a little radical. 
flip it, maybe I can pull that tape off. Uh, I'm a little reluctant to do it because it is a wet cover and wet covers are weak covers. And as you can see there, there is a split in the back cover. So I don't know if this is a good idea to do this, but let's see if I can do it. You just want to be delicate and you want to lift it up very so slightly. And let's flip it around. Let's flip it around. Let's put it down like this. Now I'm not using Reme paper, as you see. I'm just doing it freehand. And sometimes you can do things like that. If you're experienced, you have to be very delicate. As you can see, I hope the camera's picking this up. There you go. The tape is, see how the tape is just coming off with the chemical? So it is working and bam, bam, bam. There you go, everyone. There is the medical tape removed 100%. No graphic lost. So this chemical is the way to go. Xylene or xylol. I'm sure someone will say I'm pronouncing it wrong. I do have a lot of people who like to comment of my pronunciations from time to time of things, but that's okay. I can take it. So, what we're gonna do, guys, now is I'm gonna let this soak. Let's put a little bit more in. And then after uh, it's done soaking, I am going to take the back cover. I'm gonna put it on a piece of Rame paper. And after putting it on the Rame paper, we're gonna rinse the heck out of it with soap. Get this chemical out of it for the next time that we put another chemical in it. So stay tuned. I'll see you shortly and we'll see how it turned out. Okay, lady and, ladies and gents, we are back. And the actual cover or back cover for that matter, the tape was removed successfully. And I believe a lot of the adhesive was removed as well. But what I wanna do now is I wanna soak it. And we're just gonna soak it in water and we're gonna soak it in the special conservation soap that I use, which is very hard to get and very expensive, something called palm olive. So what I wanna do, I don't know if the camera's picking it off. Yes, it is on the side. I want to try to lift this cover up very delicately and we're going to put it on this piece of Holitex. Now what's good about what just happened is that when I removed the piece of medical tape, which is right here, I was able to reveal a piece of the cover that was flipped over. So I wanna to try to keep right here, I wanna to try to keep that straight because if we can use that, that would be awesome. Every piece counts, no piece left behind. Isn't that what I say? So right there, we got our piece of Polytex. Now what I wanna do is I'm on the side of my workshop where I have a chest toolbox and I keep my papers and things of that nature. Let's put another piece of, that's Reme, that's not Holitex. So I'm gonna put a piece of Reme and I'm also to the side of my workshop where I keep my grates and glasses. Let's put another piece because I wanna try to keep it flat. Let's use some weight. What weight do we want to use? I don't know. I got this right here with my brushes that I have to wash. They're very stiff. A lot of them have 
methyl cellulose. And let's put this expensive soap and water, which as you know, is palm olive. I'm gonna run to the faucet on the other side of my basin. Stay tuned for one second. I'm not gonna stop the camera. Actually, I don't have a faucet in my basement. What I do is I go to the main water line, which comes into the house. And main water lines generally have a shutoff valve and above or below the shutoff valve, they have a spigot, a hose spigot, so you can drain the system if you wanna drain the house. So I just use it as a water supply. Okay guys, so we're gonna let this soak and after I rinse it out, flatten it out, I'll show you what it looks like. But that will be the next upload because we're gonna join then the back cover and the front cover and we're going to actually dry clean them. I know it's a little silly saying dry cleaning after we wet it, but we'll be able to get some dirt off. We'll do it very quickly. Then after the dry cleaning, I wanna put everything together. And what I wanna do is I want to then clean the cover with my chemical. We're gonna use for this one, chloramine T compound. And then after that, what we'll do is we'll do a deacidification. Did you hear what I said? A deacidification with calcium hydroxide. And then we'll do some methyl cellulose treatments. And I think with this one, guys, I'm going to do a whole Ten Gorjo backing because this needs it. We, we really... We really need it on this one, so stay tuned.